Hello, I am Jason Jang, and I am doing a proposal on Under Armour on the expansion and development. Our problem here is that Under Armour isn't doing so well in the soccer sector. Under Armour should foster growth in soccer since it is the most viewed sport in the world. The Under Armour hasn't had any prior success in international sales. International revenue is crucial to a company's development. Our evidence here provided is that Under Armour should follow the footsteps of Nike in soccer. Nike strategically targeted key teams and players for sponsorships and turned these sponsorships into larger ones, de thereby deepening its relationship with national leagues, stated by Forbes. Now, nearly two decades later, Nike is one, one of the most prominent names in the soccer business, sponsoring nearly 30 national teams and some of the most influential club teams in the world, also stated by Forbes. Nike is sealing prom prominent partnership agreements with organizations to align its brand image. Brand image is crucial for Under Armour. Under Armour's growth overseas will increase astronomically. This graph shows Nike and Under Armour in revenue performances. As you can see, Nike, Under Armour, Nike has dominated Under Armour is in revenue growth. Nike's growth since 2000 to 2001 has increased from 3 billion from 9 billion to 27.8 billion dollars under armor on the other hand has not shown much growth since has only grown less than 3 billion dollars our proposal here is for under armor to initiate international liaison with la liga club sevilla under Armour should offer a five-year, $500 million partnership with Club Sevilla. Jersey sponsorship agreements will increase revenue and brand image on a global scale. Under Armour can position themselves to become an athletic apparel and sports equipment powerhouse in copious domains. Under Armour will pitch a contingent contract to goalkeeper Sergio Rico of Club Sevilla for five years and a $38 million, $38 million deal. Sergio Rico joined the special national team for three times, stated by ESPN. Rico will be representing Under Armour at the Euro Cup and FIFA World Cup. He was handed the number one jersey this summer, also stated by ESPN. By being a prominent player, fans will always be looking up to him. Our budget will include under Armour investing $100 million for five years on Club Sevilla and five years $38 million for Sergio Rico partnership. Travel ex expenditures will total around $2.5 million. Factory rental will total around $5 million. Under Armour wants to mass produce jerseys and equipment. Research and development will cost $15 million. Under Armour wants to produce the best at a grand total of $122.5 million. Our timeline states from February 14th, 2016 to March 31st, 2016, we will discuss and sign partnership agreements with Cub Sevilla. To go into debt, we will discuss jersey sales, regulations, and endorsements specifics, and we will match any qualifying offer. From April 21st, 2016 to May 30, 2016, Club Sevilla and Sergio Rico will sign with Under Armour. Both Club Sevilla and Sergio Rico discuss partnership with Under Armour at a press conference. From June 10, 2016 to July 10, 2016, the Euro Cup 2016 will take place. The Euro Cup will witness Club Sevilla an upgraded Under Armour soccer gear and jerseys. August 15 through May 2017, the La Liga football will resume. Brand value will increase. Jersey sales and soccer gear, re gear recognition will rise after each game. Our benefits of the proposal is that Under Armour's brand image will increase on an international level. The brand will be recognized globally. Under Armour's brand name will be seen everywhere, including the FIFA World Cup, Euro Cup, Summer Games, Soccer Games, on television. Under Armour will witness an increase of international revenue. This will lead to capital gains. By engaging Lysgen with Club Sevilla, Under Armour will have a chance to sponsor other teams and famous players. Thank you for your cooperation.